Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chase and this is a Penny Pinchers Guide channel. So last video I posted actually talked about how to start investing for college students. And at the end, I said that I was gonna give you some of the best investing apps to start jumping into in 2020 as early as in your college years. So this video, I'm gonna specifically talk about the Acorns app. It's a micro investing app that allows you to start investing your spare change, to start building your wealth. Stick around to learn a little bit more. All right, so before we jump into the video, I just wanna take some time to thank this video sponsor. That's right, it's smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, that makes a big difference for our channel and it really helps us get pushed out to more and more people out there in a greater audience. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So like I said before, Acorns is a micro investing platform that allows you to start investing your spare change. And it doesn't have to just be your spare change, it can be like a monthly or weekly investment, but it's really big deal that it allows you to start taking these little increments of time and money and start investing them and grow it over a long period of time, right? Um, so they really focus on having diversified portfolios because it really only offers five different portfolios options that you can start investing into. So these five original diversified portfolios were originally helped designed by Nobel Laureate Dr. Harry Markowitz. And now there's about a billion dollars in assets under these portfolios. Now in this video, I'm only gonna focus on the invest aspect of the app as it does offer a couple different things as far as investing for later terms like Roth IRAs and then in accounts for your kids or other people down the road and then checking accounts. Specifically, I'm gonna focus on the investment because that I think is the most value that you're gonna get from the video. So Acorns Gate takes these already diversified portfolios and they give you an option between one through five, right? So they take a bunch of ETFs and bonds. They don't actually invest into single stocks or single mutual funds. They just focus on ETFs and bonds and depending on how much you're waiting on the ETFs and the bonds is where you'll be placed into the one through five category for the diversified portfolios. All right, so the first portfolio is gonna be the most conservative one, and that's the conservative portfolio, and it's gonna be completely full of bonds, different types of government and corporate bonds, and it's gonna be the safest one to stick with. If you have no risk tolerance, then that is the one to go for. And then if you move on to number two, it's gonna be the moderate conservative, and that one's gonna have about 60% of bonds and then 40% of ETFs into stocks. And again, you're just kind of edging up a little bit as your risk tolerance will allow. And then number three, you're gonna actually move to about 40% of your bond percentage in your portfolio. And then it'll also start breaking it up into large, medium, and small cap stocks to help diversify and give you a little bit more breadth and a little bit more earning potential. And then number four is gonna be the moderately aggressive. You're gonna have about 20% of bonds in your diversified portfolio and the rest are gonna be into ETFs and stocks. And then number five is gonna be the most aggressive. It's gonna be 100% in stocks. It's gonna have international as well as large, medium, and small cap stocks. Now, as most of you are gonna be in college and you're gonna be just starting out, then you're gonna have a higher risk tolerance because you have more time to build your wealth and you have more time to rebuild it up if something goes wrong. So I would recommend staying in the moderate aggressive to aggressive range, especially when you first start out. And then as your time goes on, you have more time to start thinking about things, you have more responsibilities and things and bills to pay, then you can start popping back and moving towards the conservative range depending on when you look at retiring. Now, I think it is important to recognize that these portfolios have been built from a Nobel Prize winning economist, Dr. Harry Markowitz. That's a big deal. And they did put a lot of thought into these. So it's not just, just these random ETFs they've thrown together and labeled diversified portfolio. It has a lot of thought that went into them and they are shown to work really well, especially because they are made from a lot of the ETFs from Vanguard and some other big name brokerages. They just looped them all together into this one little pie and determined and made this diversified portfolio. So what makes Acorns any different than any other investing app? Well, they actually allowed you to make any purchase you make into an investment because they allow round ups. So if you buy something for 50 cents, then they're gonna round up the additional 50 cents to a dollar and they'll take that 50 cents and invest it into your portfolio. So if you buy something for 99 cents, then that extra one cent will be added into the pot and that will be invested down the road. So that's pretty cool because it continually invests and these small amounts actually 
actually grow and grow and grow until they you know turn into this big oak down the road so i like acorns a lot they recently actually added on a fee system where there's a one three and five dollar fee depending on what you want what i am describing to you the invest feature is about one dollar but if you are in college you can actually put that down in the employment and then put your edu email in there and you'll get four years of free investment portfolios through acorns without having to do the one dollars per month which is pretty nice now after you do reach and build your portfolio up to about a million dollars. When you hit that million dollar threshold, they will start, they'll drop the dollar fee, the $3 fee, the $5 fee, and they're gonna move to 0.25% of your total assets being invested. At that time, what you can do is just take that money and move it over to somewhere else that's not charging those fees. Now, I do really enjoy this app, and I did use it when I was back in college. I do not currently use it right now, and I have moved over to other investment apps that are more suited for my needs right now. I do like how you are able to actually reach out if you have any questions and shoot them an email and they get back to you really quickly. And if you really did want to, you can actually give them a call and you're able to get on the phone with an actual person. Uh, that makes a big difference when you have all your money invested in something. You wanna be able to talk to somebody and get things figured out. So overall, Acorns is one of my favorite apps, especially for college students that wanna start investing but actually don't know exactly what they need to get into, which stocks they need to start investing into, and they don't have the time to dedicate and learn all the financials of their stocks. So it really puts it into auto investing and it really makes it easier for these college students to get started without having to put a lot of thought into it. Now there are a lot of other features in the app that I didn't really talk about in this particular video because it doesn't really pertain to what we're talking about with the investing aspect of it. They have had a lot of partnerships with a lot of big name brands like Apple and Nike where if you do buy things from their place and use their link and sometimes if it's linked to your card then you'll get some kickbacks from that and those will be auto invested. I think that's great but I don't think that really pertains to the investment aspect of this going into college. And then I also want to note they actually do put out a lot of good information in their app and a lot of articles that you can read to help you learn about what you're investing into and then what you can do down the road when you start moving away to other aspects and new apps and new features that you can actually start investing on your own. But overall, I do think this app is really good for a college student that's getting started and is not exactly sure what they need to do. So with that being said, if you did get some good content from this video, go and hit that like and subscribe button. It really makes a big difference to our channel. And I'll be putting out more videos like this over the other couple apps that I use currently and what I do believe that the college students would really benefit from looking into and investing with down the road. And with that being said, I really would like to thank you for watching this video. And always, I would like to remind you to pinch a little bit. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the video that's on the left hand side of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more great content and to support our channel.